Hey guys, how's it going? Hope everybody's having a wonderful Sunday. Feeding uh, Mr. Georgia today. I threw in a handful of crickets. So I think he's done chasing those around. And I got a few dubias before he steals the bowl. And a silver side. I got cut up for him. How you doing there, Goofy? How you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? You're such a goof. Every time he comes out, he likes to get on top of his house and climb around. <laughs> Let's see if we can get him to come down and run around. Oh, you got him. You got him. There's the other half. So I've got the Arcadia calcium. Ah, calcium with magnesium. Oop. <laughs> Dusted on his food, of course. Here, you keep leaving half of them behind. Here you go. How about a fish head? Georgia. Oh, oh, you got him. <laughs> you got him before I can have you chase him around. There, there we go. I got a tail. I got a tail. Oh, you got him. You stole the tail from me. All right, we got a dubia. We got a dubia. Have him come out and get some exercise, get him to run around. Get on, Georgie. <laughs> he just jumped up and stole it off the tongues. You goofy butt. All right, you got one dubia and one piece of fish left. I always try to give them at least a couple different food options whenever I feed them. That way he's not just just getting fish or just getting bugs. Kind of a mixture of both. Come on, Goofy. Come on, Goofy. Come on. Oh. <laughs> Ready? Can you try Oh, you got him. You got him. That was a good jump. Oh, you missed him. Don't want him. Mm. Where you go? All right, we got one more. One more piece left. Georgia. All right, you're gonna have to run for this one. Come on, come on. Oh, you stole me, little shit. <laughs> you always do that. You goofball. You 
you good boy. You are a goof. You are a goof. He's doing really good. His tail is healed up very, very nicely. Oops. Just found some fish goo on the floor. <laughs> so the ordeal I got going on at the moment, not really an ordeal, but kind of, so, he's been in this crazy thing for far too long, and I've been trying to get him out of this enclosure for quite some time. Um, I had found somebody that could help me. Anyhow, um, because I had, have the eight foot enclosure over there that initially got started for Joanna Savannah, but she, you know, as some of you know, she passed away about six months ago, back in December. So the enclosure sat here and sat here, and then I knew I had to get George into something bigger, and by all means, I'm not a builder or handyman, so I knew there was no way I could finish the eight-foot enclosure over there. So, like I said, I, I had found somebody, and they came over twice to uh, help get the eight-foot enclosure Here we go. Um, finished, but then, um, I don't know, he just has a lot going on, blah, 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 et cetera, et cetera. And so suggested that I get one of these grow tents. Um, he uses grow tents for some of his critters, lizards. Um, and I have to say, I really haven't been a fan of grow tents for reptiles, but Everybody has their own opinions and whatnot. Um, I mean, they do work out good because they, you know, are meant to hold heat and humidity and all that fun stuff. So that was pretty much my only option as of right now um, until I can try to find somebody that can help me finish that monster over there. It's an 8 by 4 by 4 um, and it's probably about halfway done and I just I'm just no good at that stuff. I'm not a builder. I'm not a handyman so I'm going to have to climb around by the <laughs> so anyway so I'm kind of back to square one and I really don't have anybody know, know a whole lot of people so I'm trying to figure out what to do about that so in the meantime I'm trying to get this thing going and um, it's up and then the guy that was helping with the other one and what he does in his is he gets a big sheet of lattice and then cuts it into a few pieces you know to fit it in here and uh, I've been collecting a bunch of big branches for the eight foot enclosures. So I was just messing around with them the other day and I got the lattice zip tied in there and just got some branches just momentarily just stuck in there. So I got to reconfigure stuff and I got to probably got about 10 more branches out on my patio to, uh, to put in here. And, Got a bunch of fake plants and whatnot, and I found this 
cool wood piece. I thought maybe I could make that into a basking platform of some sort. Either leave it as is or maybe I could silicone a piece of slate on there or something. Um, and I'm just totally not even sure how to hang lights in here. Of course, you get, you know, the crossbars up there, but I don't know. It's just, it just seems kind of sketchy. Anyway, then I've been watching videos on people making these tents into a, you know, reptile enclosure. And they have these big plastic windows on there. And some people will cut that out and put some kind of screening in place of the plastic. Again, I'm not a handyman, so <laughs> I've been trying to watch a bunch of YouTube videos and try to figure it out, but I'm really not sure how to, to go about attaching screening on that window. So that's something else I got to figure out. But doing the inside, you know, probably isn't going to be too big of a deal. I just got to zip tie branches and zip tie, you know, the plants in there and stuff. And of course, put substrate in the bottom and I got a bigger water tub up here. I got a big plastic tub. I'm going to put that in the bottom. So that's a work in progress. I'm trying to hurry and get it done because he has been in this ridiculous tank for far too long. And it really bums me out each day that he's in here, so. But, I mean, he's, <laughs> he's a trooper. He's, he's healthy, he's hanging out, he's doing good, and eating good, and super friendly and social, and a well-trained lizard. So, that's the scoop. Um, I guess if uh, anybody's in Florida and interested in helping or being hired to <laughs> help finish that thing over there, uh, feel free to let me know. Because as of right now, I've, I've got nobody. So I'm going to get Mr. Georgia back into his house. He's making a mess over here. You're making a mess, Goofy. How are you doing? So that is it, and that's all. We'll catch everybody next time. There he goes. He's running away. <laughs>